Um, hello, I'm dealing with some numbering issues. Uh, so I'm trying to copy up these. I've been spending quite a time with this project on another different project where when I use the advanced copy, the numbering ends up changing. So as you can see, if I select this assembly and copy everything. Now, I previously have done this with all these posts, uh, but the posts aren't part of the assembly, so I just deleted the assemblies. So if I copy this up, So if I polar array and it's, I want six of them, 90 degrees between each. And I want a, a Z increment is five foot six. Uh, include additional connections. I've tried it both ways. So I'll do this time include additional connections. And it'll take a second because there's quite a bit in it. Uh, so what's happening is I'm copying these up around and they look fine and I have it set that the numbering will be copied also but when I go to now see when it stops there it's like I gotta right click to continue so it's like it's attempting to connect to something different so It'll take a second. Sometimes that's a, a sign that something is changing because you're copying the connecting elements as well. So it's like something is different along the way up. Now, you can see from this platform, I've deleted these posts on this corner. Uh, my cursor is not working right now at the minute when it's trying to perform this copy. Uh, so on the left hand side, just where it says selecting corresponding entities. Um, so maybe that's why it's slowing down. Um, that was just an email coming in from another advanced steel issue. So this should almost, now if I don't pick that, uh, connecting elements it'll copy faster than that so now you can see all right looks like we have everything so we're happy with that let's do okay if these are already highlighted so are selected so now highlight them now these originally these were all numbered st2 for stringer 2 my rollover tooltips is not working so these were all named ST2. So you'll see that when I do the number on you. So if I go to home and I go to number, it'll number this. Uh, but what's happening is it's changing them all. So I need all these to stay as ST2s. Now it's like everything is changing. Um, so if I deselect these, and then I can see which ones have changed. So the first one has stayed as in, the first one is not even. So the original one I numbered as T2 has changed. Three, five, sorry, four, five, six, and then they have two as T2s in the middle. So it's pretty frustrating because, you know, now instead of having to do five, this should be two, because the one in the middle over here is going to be slightly different. Uh, for now, it's actually the same, but I'm going to delete these outside holes. So, what we'll do is I'll go back again. Let's try something different. If I go back, I'm going to go back and cycle back through it to go back to when I had one platform. And I will attempt to copy them again with the polar array. Um, I know it's something I'm doing wrong. It's something I'm copying, whether it's an extra hole or something like that. 
So now I'm back to this one. So if I click on this, you'll see uh, the assembly number is ST2, right? All right, so we give it a shot again. So what we're going to do now is I'll select all these again. And I'll do polar array. And I'll, I'll include, I'll, I won't include additional connections. Uh, this should copy it, as you can see, there's 43, 44, sorry, different parts. Whether these are welds, or what they are, extra holes that I have by accident, I have audited and I have removed extra welds. Uh, this has been copied numerous times and the job has changed numerous times, so it's certainly not the cleanest of models. So if we do preview, let's see what happens. It should happen a little quicker than the last time. Oh, sorry, I just did copy there by accident. So let's modify that polar array preview. It'll, it'll retain the previous sentence. So once you don't change your UCS, you should be fine to just do it again. <coughs> All right, so as you can see now, it has not copied the bolts. So it has not copied those bolts that they, they were additional. So, but let's see, maybe the number and will work. If the number and will work, I'll just go back and put them bolts in. So, all right, the elements I want to renumber are already collect selected. So what's good practice also is I, I can highlight all these and put them in a group before I unhighlight them because it's hard to go back and pick these things sometimes. These ones should be okay. But... All right, so let's number this and see what happens. And mm, So that was better, at least. <coughs> so I guess that's part of my issue. Whatever I'm copying, I don't want to copy. So... If I, so that's the first one. So that's interesting. So the first one is ST2. Sorry. All the other ones are ST2. And the first one is ST3. Oh no. Old part. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. ST3. <laughs> so uh, these ones are all the same, which is good. I would have to go back and add the bolts, but. Uh, that's something small because I have to copy the stairs around 180 degrees again. Um, to be honest, I'm not sure why I'm recording this, but I figured I might reach out to somebody and see if they have any input. I know on a previous project, somebody had told me I was doing a lot of fire escapes and I would delete the top five and then copy them back up again once I had edited the fire escape. Somebody had said to me to use just the advanced steel copy, or sorry, the AutoCAD copy. Once you had everything selected, that the AutoCAD copy was the one that would work the best. So I don't know. Right now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is, if I, well, let's try it now while I'm in the video. I can always back out of it, hopefully. This is also a test file. Um, so what we can do now is, if I select... Let me select all these and delete these and then go back into this one. <clears throat> now, the only issue I have here, I think, is if I go in here, uh, you can see these bolts. They're supposed to be going all the way through, but it doesn't really matter to me right now. Uh, the bolts is kind of the least of my worries. So I don't know if I add this bolt to this, even though it shouldn't affect those holes. I'm afraid it might change the number, and so I would probably leave it like that just for now. So if I change back to shaded, and uh, if I select these, you can uh, mm. All right, that's the problem now. That's not going to be any use to me because I copied it. Because I copied it without the connected entities, the connected 
parts, it's now not an assembly anymore. Which I didn't think because I thought I would have had all those welds highlighted in my copy that I wouldn't. So I was missing some welds from the copy. Interesting. When I highlighted that assembly, it should have also selected the welds. I guess it doesn't copy them. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to work for me because now this isn't even an assembly. That's strange. Why is that not an assembly? Um, I mean, it's numbering it as an assembly. So these should come all as up as ST2s, right? Uh, see, it's not an assembly now. <coughs> no. Because when I deleted this other one, uh, let me go back. Because when I deleted this other one, Whatever was connected to the other one. So if I go back, if I don't delete the other one, does that stay as an assembly? Uh, sorry, no, this is taking a minute. I don't want to go back too far. <laughs> so now I deleted that and that turned into an assembly. Um, so that's now an assembly again. Interesting. Interesting. So why is that an assembly now? And if I select this, let me go back out. And if I, uh, what's this over here? So is that weld? Upright through if I no, there's only the one. Um, maybe that's uh, if I delete that, let's see. No, sorry, that's <coughs> that's actually that's stronger because uh, it's cut back. So, why? Why, if I delete this, is this not staying in assembly? If I check one of these other ones, that's an assembly. Alright, so if I delete this again, let's try one more time. Let's see what happens. Delete. And now, if I check this as an assembly. It is an assembly, so I did something wrong. That was my fault, whatever I did wrong. <coughs> Alright, so... So now, let's... We have all these again. So there's one, two, three, four, five of these. So let's number these now. Let's see if these numbers have changed. Alright, so it's an ST2. Alright, so now what we want to do is... Now we would want to copy this one back down, so I'll pick this one here, or I can, I can pull or array this one back down. It's probably the best thing to do. Uh, so select that one, and advanced copy. Sorry, I'm thinking about something else while I'm doing this. Um, I'm trying to think where I'll be able to get some help maybe with this. Yeah, uh, maybe I'll just post it on the Facebook group. Uh, preview. Oh, I did six by accident, so let's modify that. Sorry, I just want to do one. I was wondering why it was taking so long. Uh, so let me do one. Preview. 
okay now i want to select all those elements again then i want to add all these to this one copied second land and so i could have renamed these a little better but doesn't really matter uh, i usually delete them afterwards uh, let's select everything <coughs> and let's number and let's see if these all stay st2s fingers crossed st2 let's send two objects It's not selecting this other one. It's really weird behavior. Uh, this group here was selecting all of these beforehand. Now it's not selecting them all. Whatever's after happening. So, oh. Now it's selected. All right, sorry, I didn't deselect beforehand. Uh, all right, so now it should be good. All right, so now it's them all. So after I did the copy, these two were selected. I didn't uh, clear that filter before I ran the other one. So this should now give me what I'm looking for. Um, so at least I don't have to create a load of drawings. All right, so those six assemblies are the same. So I want to copy without that setting. And I can never remember what it is. So this one here, include additional connections, which obviously uh, a lot of times screws things up. So I guess in this case, it's the same. The only problem is now I'll have to go back and put the bolts in here. Well, I guess I could just copy the bolts separately, just do the same polar array and have this unselected and, uh, Maybe that'll work. Um, I don't know if I should do it right now to show everyone. Uh, probably not. Because now I don't even have them down here. <laughs> I have them here. All right. So the bigger issue is the numbering. And that seems to have worked. Now, I'll have the same issue. I'm a bit of a stickler for the number. And I number these ones separately per landing and then I'll have the same issue probably with these um, right now the numbers are right but I have not numbered I've numbered these landings down here and then copied them around or sorry not these landings I'll number these posts on the first and second because the first and the second are slightly different and then copied them around so anyway maybe somebody can have a look at this and see what they think if they have any feedback on what i'm doing wrong or what's the best way to proceed when you're copying something like this that has numerous elements that you want to make sure they stay in the one group um all right thank you much appreciated bye, -bye.